Bye bye. Bye, Daddy. Bye bye. Oh, thank you for blowing kisses. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Oh, that's so nice. It's always hard to leave family in the morning, but we've got a fairly busy day today. First stop is meeting a guy named Derek at a Starbucks. Derek is a guy who reached out to me online. He does Internet of Things infrastructure, which is kind of interesting. He wanted to meet and talk about it, and I thought that'd be cool. I'm like 25 minutes early. I'm not going to be filming Derek because I don't want to put him on the spot or anything. I'll probably see you after I meet with him. It's a fun meeting. He's working on some pretty cool stuff. It's fun to think about what the future could be like. Alright, off to work. something I wanted to say I totally forgot what it is so instead I'm going to talk about routine and habit you might have read a lot about this I know if you ever go to medium.com a lot of people write about habits there especially you know habits of people who are super successful as if it's some kind of formula like if you do exactly what some other successful guy does in the morning somehow that makes you a successful guy I'm not sure that's what makes people successful but I do think there's a lot of value to good habits and to sticking to things even when they're hard so some of my experiences of things that have really helped me grow uh, skill-wise are things that you do regularly and you have accountability. So that means that every day you are making something, creating something, and then showing it to someone who will call you out if you don't make something. For me, I did this project a couple years ago called Daily UI. There's a website where you could sign up with your email address and they would email you a prompt like uh, credit card checkout or uh, sign in, sign up, that kind of thing. And you would have to design something uh, based on that prompt. So I did that for 40 plus days, I believe, in a row. And I would post it every day on my Dribble account, which is social media for designers. And I would also tweet it every day. And I knew I had people, including my older brother, David, and my friend Jake, who actually makes all the music for the vlog, who would check and see if I had posted something, and if I hadn't, they would ask me to post. So that was really nice to have that accountability. I know that I won't get in trouble. It's not like my boss is gonna come after me, but it's nice to know that someone cares if I don't keep up with the habit, and that helps motivate me. That expectation to have something posted helps motivate me to post every day. So that was a really good short-term thing. Something I've done for a longer period of time is find a new wallpaper for my computer every day. So the reason why that's been so helpful, I'm a visual designer, and that forces me to go out and find something new and inspiring that I'm not afraid to look at all day on my computer desktop. Every single day, I find something new and inspiring and beautiful. And what's nice is, after the first month, you're exhausted of your normal source of inspiration and you have to go out and find something new so sometimes it's photography sometimes it's illustration sometimes it's logo design just finding a good mix of different kinds of inspirational visuals really helps keep me stretched and exposed to a bunch of different styles and a bunch of different cool stuff that I really wouldn't have seen if I weren't doing that exercise so I'd like to challenge you find one thing that you can do every single day where you have regularity and you have accountability. So regularity means you do it every single day and accountability means you show someone what you did. So if you're going to do something like the wallpaper challenge, try to find a friend who will do it with you and you can show each other what you found for each day. My mom would always tell us, 
daily decisions determine your destiny. Think about these kinds of small habits as building blocks for your skills in the future.